guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a night routine, a dental hygiene student night routine, if you will. I just got home from school, like literally just walked in the door, and it's about 3.30. So I got off a little bit early today. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we get off early-ish usually. I'm in my third semester right now. Um of general hygiene school so like halfway through first and second year um you can go back and watch my last video that i did about uh it was like an update after the end of my first year and we do a third term sort of like an eight week summer term in between first and second year um that's more like clinically like hands-on based there's not a whole lot of tests and assignments and stuff like that and we only have um three three courses technically that we're doing uh so it's monday through thursday and we have fridays off which is really nice um it's nice as nice as it can get for having to go to school through to the end of june um we're, our last day is june 28th so Mondays and Thursdays, we are in the clinic seeing patients. So we uh, see, we have the opportunity to see four patients a week because our appointments are um, two and a half hours long. So we have two and a half hour appointments in the morning, we can see one patient there, and then two and a half hour appointments in the evening, we can see a patient there. So Mondays and Thursdays, we see patients. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, the class is split in half, and half the class in the morning does a radiology lab where we uh, just take radiographs in different ways, like using different techniques on like fake heads uh, all morning. And then the other half of the class is in extended skills, and then we like switch, we switch off in the afternoon and, you know, the opposite happens. So today, for example, I was in extended skills in the morning and radiology in the afternoon, but yesterday it was the opposite. So extended skills is like, um, exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it's like extended skills. It's very hands-on and we do things like we learned, um, how to place sealants and how to place composite and amalgam fillings and, um, how to take impressions and fabricate mouth guards from impressions. Uh, so that's what we did yesterday. We fabricated mouth guards from impressions that we took a while back. Um, like we've learned how to like place a rubber dam, stuff like that. So, and today we did temporary, we learned how to place temporary and provisional uh, restorations. So we did a temporary crown and a temporary composite filling and something else I can't even remember that was this morning and then this afternoon in radiology we just did um, a bunch of paralleling so yeah it's about 3 30 and I am just gonna start doing what I normally do when I get home and I usually just pick up around the house I have a couple more chores to do today than I normally would I had to like empty my dishwasher make my bed. Uh, Shane, my fiance, is on nights right now, so he's sleeping when I left this morning, so I have to make my bed and stuff now. And I might vacuum. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll just um, take you through the rest of my night with me as I prepare for school tomorrow and just do what I do in the evenings. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just make my bed real quick. That's probably like the biggest chore that makes you like feel the best. I feel like your house is clean when it's really not. And uh, sorry about these curtains. Shane has to have them up or like he can't sleep during the day. They're like dark curtains, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna take them down because he'll just put them back up tomorrow morning when he gets home to go to sleep. Or should I need to get down? Get, you gotta get down. Get down so I can make the bed.
All right, guys. So I just finished doing all my chores. It's a little while later now. I think it's like, I don't know, 20 to 5 probably. I'm just laying here on my bed. <laughs> now I'm going to change into some comfy clothes probably. And oh, there's Russia. Say hi, Russia. Say hi. She's just not in the mood. Change into some comfy clothes. And then, honestly, I'm probably just going to lay on the couch like a blob. I'm feeling really, like, dead this week. I don't really know why. Um, so I'm probably just going to sit on the couch for a little bit, chill on my phone, watch some TV, until I make some supper, and then have to uh, get things ready for school tomorrow. So yeah, usually when I come home from school, I like to get all of my like house things done or anything like that that I need to get out of the way, um, which is why I still stay in my scrubs because I don't know when I, once I get in comfy clothes, I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> is anyone else like that? Let me know if you're like that too, because I feel you. So yeah, that's usually what I do, and then. Um, usually I'll make food like right away as soon as I can because I'm usually starving, but today I got home a little bit early, so I want to wait to have supper a little bit. Otherwise after supper, I'll just be starving all night long <laughs> until I go to bed. So yeah, I'll check back with you guys probably when I'm making supper. Hi guys, I'm back and now I'm in my comfy clothes and <laughs> sitting on the couch drinking some water. I drink a ton of water in case anyone <laughs> was interested, probably not. But uh, just drinking some water with some berry pomegranate mio in it. Normally I don't drink flavored water, but I had this there and I was just in the mood for something different. So I decided to try some in my water and going good it's going good anyway I am just trying to figure out what I want to have for supper and getting ready to relax a little bit and watch a bit of YouTube I got some YouTube going on on the TV there so yeah I'm just using this time as a little bit of downtime to like relax and just unwind Normally, if this was like a regular semester or a regular sort of day where I just wasn't go, go, go all week, I would probably use this free time to do homework or study or um, do something with the dogs or do a workout or something. Um, I'm just feeling really exhausted right now and there's no homework to be done or anything um we don't really have any book work per se in this term um there were five assignments for radiology but they are done and submitted now and there is a there's a final exam for extended skills but that's not until the end of june and uh there's like a an a, like a clinical evaluation for for clinic but that of course is not happening yet either and something you can't really study for at this point you know so yeah and I'm not um, working out right now just because I'm on a diet plan um, where I sort of can't work out at the moment uh, I'm eating like ideal protein style I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that diet but I did it about a year and a half ago ish and I lost 80 pounds um so I I really love that diet and I've managed to keep the 80 pounds off um but just this past couple of months with where school got so busy and everything I kind of just ignored working out and like eating well and was just eating a few too many pizzas drinking a few too many beers ate too many mini eggs at Easter that kind of thing so I just wanted to drop some fat for summer and I know how to 
eat in like an like I eat like ideal protein style I wouldn't say I go back to like the strict the extremely strict way of it although I am very strict because that's the kind of diet it is you have to be very strict um I just sort of do my own version of it for a little bit until I get down to like back down to the weight I want to be at and I'm I'm sticking on it a little longer um, just because I'd like to be in better shape for the summer or you know just at a better weight and then I'm planning on going off it in a few weeks and then starting back at the gym again um, I love eating healthy and working out and everything like that it just got really hard for me to do at school and like I got lazy and I just get exhausted really easily so for me this is the easiest way and of course you can't really exercise on the diet like you can do light exercise but for me that's just me I like to go hard or not at all <laughs> so that's just why I'm not using this time to be active or anything uh although I could take my dogs out it's really nice so I'm just like having such a blah week I'm not sleeping very well um so yeah <laughs> I'm looking like a hot mess right now, too. Like, this is not cute. This is, like, well, this is my face, guys. I don't wear foundation or anything. But, I mean, these cameras these days, they just show it all, don't they? <laughs> anyway, I'm blabbing. I'll be back to show you guys what I'm making for supper. I share a lot of food over on my Instagram stories like it's not fancy like insta you know Instagram photos or anything like that but I do share a lot of my food over there I love insta story I share like so much of my favorite products and favorite food over there like favorite recipes that I make and everything um and I post you know a lot about my life over there too I only got it recently so I'll put the my Instagram down below and somewhere on the screen as well too so you should follow me over there because it's super fun and uh I'm gonna stop blabbing now but yeah let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing a video where I talk about um my like my weight loss journey and um or like my weight loss transformation um and how I normally keep the weight off um when I'm not in a an active state of losing like I am right now. but if you guys want me to do a video like that talking about that um weight loss experience um or how I go about keeping the weight off you know as a student or with somebody as somebody with a busy life uh or even like what I eat in a day videos I am so down to do those kinds of things okay I'll see you guys when I make dinner. Okay guys, so it's about 6.30 now and I figured I'm going to start making my supper because I'm getting hungry and so this is about the time of night that I would eat. Okay, so what I'm making is um, sort of like a stir fry type. Um, it's like egg roll in a bowl is kind of what I'm going to call it um but i'm adding some like um pasta to it so this is the pasta that i use um it's a low calorie pasta it's made out of a cognac root which is a vegetable i guess anyway it's only 25 calories for the whole pack um and i love this stuff i don't eat it a ton like i'll eat it once or twice a week maybe um and i usually eat it on days when i'm more hungry than others uh, it's great it's got like six grams of carbs six grams of fiber so zero net carbs um, 25 calories I love this stuff and they have angel hair spaghetti and fettuccine um, those are the ones that I've tried and can find at my like, local grocery store so I absolutely love these and that's what I'm going to add to this dish I've got some ground turkey that I'm going to 
cook up for it and um, zucchini I don't think I would normally put this in here but I just forgot I had it and I need to like use some of it um, and then I'm doing bean sprouts coleslaw got some garlic there green onions of course and uh, then I'm just for the seasoning going to use this um, garlic powder onion parsley and then uh, the sauce is going to be some soy sauce, Frank's uh, hot sauce, and some lemon juice. And then I have this um, that I get from Audio Protein. It's a sesame sauce that um, is compatible with the diet. So, yeah, and I only use a tiny bit of this because the flavor is actually really strong. I think I'm just going to like put it over it at the end kind of thing um, because I am using this for the sauce. Oh, and I think I'm gonna do um, mushrooms as well. I think I have a can of mushrooms in here. Sorry, my cupboard is like a hot mess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do just um, a couple of mushrooms in there as well. So yeah, let's get cooking. Okay guys, so here's the mostly finished product. I'm just gonna add some green onions on top of it now because I love them and they just like they just suit the Asian inspired dish don't they so yeah I'm gonna go eat this now it's about seven o'clock and uh, then I think I'm gonna get some stuff ready for school and uh, yeah I'll check in with you then okay so it's about uh, just after eight o'clock and I'm like settling down here now just to get a couple things ready for school tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, which means it's a clinic day, which means uh, we see patients. Um, unfortunately, my patient for the afternoon canceled um, late yesterday, so, and I don't have any more patients like in my family that I could contact, so I wasn't, I'm not able to fill my afternoon, which is fine. We just sort of help each, uh, like help each other out or um, practice on each other. Uh, but I do have a patient in the morning, so I'm preparing for that patient. So all I do is I just go in on my laptop into like the um, software that we use that has everybody's like charting information on it. Um, I'm able to access that from home with like a special security wall thing that I've signed into first. And I just go on there and just double check that I know everything that I need to know about that patient or as much as like I can know at this point um, of course I've never seen this patient before uh, this will be our first appointment together and um, I don't know if I said this before but at my school the dental hygiene appointments typically take more than one appointment just because there's a lot of detail and a lot of um, like paperwork and different things that we have to go through, tobacco dependency education, um, diet recall, like nutritional counseling, and we have to like check all of their soft tissue charting, like any concerning areas, and we have to do a lot of patient education, blah, 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 treatment planning before we can even think about starting to like scale teeth or anything. So uh, yeah, tomorrow will be our first appointment together uh, with this patient. I've, I've seen, um, quite a few patients now since like the last time um, that I made a video I think it was before I started term three so I've been seeing patients this whole time anyway and then there's paperwork that I need to make sure is like filled out and ready to go for the morning uh, just because when I get there in the morning I like to just focus on setting up my cubicle and you know getting everything clean and disinfected and getting having everything ready for the patient just so that I can be as time efficient as possible because I don't like to make them come back too many times uh, you know if it's if I can help it um, but the least amount of time it's taken me to finish a patient patient so far is two appointments so I don't think there's any way at this point we would do it in one just because of all of the paperwork that needs to be done first 
So yeah, and of course I've already looked at her like actual chart um, because we have paper charts as well that have more info and like all the progress notes and everything. I've already, I already looked at that um, yesterday before I called and booked her in just to make sure um, there was nothing that like I needed to know like medical conditions or medications or anything like that. So yeah, I just go over everything and make sure I'm on the right page and get my paperwork and everything set up. And that's all that I really need to do the night before a patient. And currently, I don't have any other like homework or anything. So this is what I do to get ready for school on the night, like Sunday nights and Wednesday nights to prepare for patients. I'm just going to do this and uh, finish watching this YouTube vlog that I'm watching. And then the hockey game is coming on. It's the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I am a huge hockey fan. Like, huge hockey fan. I love hockey, so um, the Stanley Cup Finals are obviously a huge deal. And I watch every game. So the game is coming on in like less than an hour. And I want to be able to watch it uh so i'm gonna get this done now and probably get like my stuff ready for school tomorrow and probably watch that in bed so we'll see <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back and it's around 8.30, 8.40ish now. Hot game's coming on soon, so I'm trying to get my stuff together for tomorrow. So I'm just going to get together um, everything I need tomorrow, like the night before, everything I need for tomorrow. The night before school, I always have everything ready. Like I have my scrubs laid out and everything. Make sure that I have like, excuse you, what are you saying? They have to go out too. That's another thing I have to do. But anyway, um, I, I make sure that I have everything ready and ready to go. My scrubs laid out. All of my, like, make sure that I have everything I need. My clinic binder, everything that I need for clinic. I plug in my laptop to make sure that it's charged. And I just make sure that my backpack is ready to go. And I also make my lunch. And then, of course, I take care of the dogs. I have to... Um, let them outside to pee and feed them and yeah so that's what we're doing now to pee choose a pee come on
it's ready to go. My scrubs for tomorrow. These are the scrubs that we have to wear every day. Um, and this is just stuff I took out of my pocket earlier today. I'll put this in my wallet and um, change for coffee tomorrow. And I always, always, always carry two pens in my pocket with me every single day because I always need pens. Um, and I'll just get out stuff like my bra and like a pair of socks and I have um, a sweater laying out here as well. These are dirty scrubs. I have a sweater laying out here as well for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, and then just a pair of socks. Okay, so it's getting closer to game time and I'm just about to make my lunch. I like to have it all ready, obviously, to go in the morning. Um, so this is what I do a lot of days. I take, um, like I said earlier, I'm eating ideal protein style. So I do the ideal protein alternative diet. Um, now, like I did the real one the first time, but now I just do alternatives because I'm a student and hashtag broke. And uh, so you get these at Walmart. It's just straight up broccoli and cauliflower, but it's in a microwave bag, steam of the bag. So it's super easy. I sort of just stab it in the microwave for five minutes and I get steamed vegetables. So I eat half of this with some olive oil and um, pink salt pepper. And I have a protein bar with it. I will show you guys what protein bar that is. Um, so I only have, I usually have a protein bar. Uh, these are the only ones I have left. So I don't know which one I want to take tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to do this Quest White Chocolate Blueberry Muffin. It's like one of my faves, but also the Oat Mega ones are my fave too. I don't know, they're all my favorites. I do still have some audio protein products that I use just because I like them. So I'm gonna get this out. Uh, and that is my lunch bag that I use. So yeah, just gonna, and I also cut up uh, cucumbers. Usually I take cucumber and celery as a snack with me for lunch, um, but I'm out of celery and I have a ton of cucumbers that I need to get rid of. My mom bought these and she's very to keep them out. So um, they're like the mini ones and I have to eat those too. So I just will cut up like a giant pile of those and put them in Tupperware, bring those too. Um, because I we only get like a half hour-ish to eat at school, like between patients, uh, lunchtime, so it has to be like quick and simple, and not really much room for snacking for the day. Um, and I have my breakfast like on my drive there. It's usually a protein shake and like coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna get this ready now. So something else I do is just get out my um, like little ninja cup and stuff for my breakfast shake in the morning because I just blend up a protein shake and ice and coffee in the morning. I need a lot of coffee in the morning. So I just um, make sure that I have this laid out. Um, and on Thursdays because I can't like sit in class with a coffee, I always usually make a coffee from home too. So I leave my um, thermos out and oh, we're almost out of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of make one um, in the Keurig and uh, this thing keeps it like hot all day so I can like sip on it while I'm driving to school and then like put it in my locker and when we get a lunch break I can finish it and I can slap it on the way home and everything and it's great. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to get ready. Um, my lunch bag set out here, like the fork and napkin and everything, and then I put the stuff I made in the fridge, and in the morning, I'll just take it out of the fridge, put it in my lunch bag, and um, my bar goes in on top of it. And I just have these waters set out here. Um, I drink two of these on the way to school every morning. I have a long drive, long-ish drive, like 40 minutes. So yeah, I try to get all my liquids in me because you can't have water in clinic, and I get a headache if I don't drink enough. These um, water bottles, for some reason, I can drink them like super, super fast. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, so now I'm just chilling on the couch, watching the hockey game. It's on mute right now, just so I can talk to you, but yeah, they're just singing the 
anthem, so I'm ready. I'm just um, having a little snack. This is like an ideal protein snack that I really love. I still buy them even though I'm doing the alternative diet. So yeah, I'm just gonna have this and finish my water for the night and I'll probably have this. These are my favorite things ever. They're um, Zevia, I think is how you pronounce them. They are a zero calorie, zero sugar, zero anything, um, like soda. And I don't have them every day, um, but I do like them once in a while. Like when I'm watching the hockey game or something, it's like a little treat. And uh, this one's the ginger ale flavor. And so far I've only had the root beer and the cream soda, but they are both so good. Like they taste just like the real thing, but there's like, there's no calories or anything in them no calories, no sugar. The ingredients are carbonated water, citric acid, stevia leaf extract, natural flavors, and ginger extract in this one because it's ginger ale. Um, so amazing. Yeah, I'll probably have this and um, my snack. And then once the first period is over during the intermission is probably when I will like finish getting ready for bed. Um, like finish up my night routine and then I will watch the rest of the game in bed. Hi okay, guys, we're coming to the end-ish of my night and now I'm just going to wash my face and floss and brush and all that good stuff before I get in bed. Um, usually every night that I have school I'm I'm in bed like by 11 or 11 30 just because i like to lie down and stuff but i rarely ever go to sleep before midnight and uh, that's probably bad but i've just been a night owl my whole life so um i i stay awake <laughs> um so and i'll probably stay awake tonight until the game is over so tonight i'm just washing my face um because i didn't take a shower i'm gonna take one probably tomorrow morning I use um, Clinique products. I really like them. I'm running out because I can't really afford to buy more. I bought most of these when I had a job and they've lasted me like a long, long time. But I am running out and cannot afford to buy more. But I love, like these are my ride or die skincare products. So first we're going to start by... By fixing the hair, I gotta get it, gotta get it up out of my face. It just sort of falls down. Throw it up into a bun to get it out of my face. All right, messy bun, cute, right? Cute. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> and all that good stuff um, obviously it's really important as a dental professional um, you know I'm still just a student but it's really important to have good oral hygiene uh, as a dental professional um, you don't want to be you know telling people how to take care of their teeth and trying to help them if you don't do it yourself, you know. Uh, yeah, this is the floss I'm using. It's just a regular, like, waxed floss. So, yeah, go floss. Don't forget your C shape, people. going to brush. I'm using my um, Oral-B power toothbrush. It's the Genius, I think it's called. 
Um, I love, love, love this toothbrush. And um, power toothbrushes in general, I always recommend them to my patients. They're great for pretty much everybody and scientifically proven to give your better, give your mouth a better clean, right? Um, so yeah, I use this one. Any power brush is great. It doesn't have to be like this fancy one. I wouldn't have this fancy one except for we got it for free um, from the Oral-B reps who come in and give us a presentation and we get like goodies, you know, um, from them. We also had a presentation from Sonicare, um, the Philips, and we got that. They're like top of the line um, toothbrush for free as well as a water flosser. And I like that one too. That was a great toothbrush as well. Um, Sheen uses it now because I, I love this one. But I um, I just prefer this one. And if you guys want me to do a video, uh, like maybe a review, um, or like discuss my thoughts on the two since I've tried them both and stuff like that, I can totally do that. Or maybe like a video about some of the like free things I've gotten in hygiene school and stuff. So yeah is my power toothbrush and some crust 3d white toothpaste um i don't really use this because it like whitens your teeth or anything um it doesn't truly whiten your teeth it just can remove some staining uh, because it's like more abrasive than other toothpaste but it um it has fluoride in it i'm a big fan of fluoride and uh, Shane really likes this toothpaste. It's one that we've just been used to for a long time. So, um, yeah, no real other reason why I use it. But, uh, yeah, just gone brush now. And this is the last thing that I use. It's just a um, mouth rinse. It's got fluoride in it. I like using products with fluoride in it because I have some um, recession. So it really helps with the sensitivity of those roots I find. And this is just, it's alcohol free, which is what you want in a mouthwash. And um, I just really enjoy the Crest 3D White line. like not really for the whitening properties of it, but I've just been using it for so long that I just, I'm used to it and I, I like these products, so. Um, yeah. is it retainers are in and my face is washed um, for anyone who's wondering I did have Invisalign about I want to say four years ago yeah that's what I had and uh, is there a dog hair in my mouth there's a dog hair in my mouth anyway yes I had Invisalign which is why I wear retainers just like I'm sure you know why. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go get in bed now. Alright guys, so here I am. This is the end of my night routine, or it's going to be the end. Um, so yeah, it's about 10.30. 
and like I said, I'll probably um, stay awake and just watch the game, but I'm in bed and everything is ready to go for tomorrow. Um, I'm a little lonely because Shane's not here. He's working night shifts, so I'm keeping him updated about the game uh, via text messages all night. But I do have a little, a little sleeping buddy there. That's my Russia. She usually sleeps next to me when um, Shane is working overnight. So, yeah, I'm just laying here in bed for the next, till I fall asleep, which probably won't be until the game's over. And I've got the game on there. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, comment down below if you have any questions about this video, anything I talked about, or any other video ideas that you want to see. And like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Follow me on Instagram. Alright. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye.